got something in mind here. What is that? The hammer, maybe? Hard to tell from our vantage point here. I think he stole it from a hobbit. Posey back in the ring. Oh, excuse me, he all got back in the ring. Oh, no, oh he's going to ring this bell. Oh! oh! That is not an official bell. Yeah. You don't challenge Tommy Dreamer to think it's going to be a regular wrestler. Oh! He's a, he's a heck of a talented wrestler, and he's a dangerous guy. He's been in the sport. The, the newest member there to get along game, taking advantage of uh, the situation. They're checking Dreamer. I'm not sure I think, uh, she might be from uh, close to that city we mentioned earlier. They as, got along. As, he, as the game goes. <laughs> as games do at those places. Yep. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh. Tommy is, uh, had him to get along there. Uh, he says he's already rang his bell. Now he's trying to, to take it home with him. But I can't ring the bell when the match is over. Eardrums was loud, especially if it's right by your ear. So what happened to the rules? That ah, so much for the rules. Nobody wanted them anyway. Please send a random photographer to return the ring bell after you're done with it. Thank you. Watch out, everybody in that corner. That ladder does not look like it's going to stay in place. And a reversal of the Irish whip. Up and over on the Invisible Man. Into the nut shot. Oh, inadvertently wiping out the referee. Or on purpose. No, not on purpose. Because he has the man pinned. Your jacket's sir. Get off my jacket. Okay, you can put your jacket on this chair as well. Tommy Dreamer. Watch this! Oh, my! <laughs> 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 Woo Ding that bell is a ring. The witch is dead. Sean Burke. Our bell has been used as an instrument. That bell is a ring. By Tommy Dreamer. Dreamer now. Oh, my! <laughs> Effects. You want to avoid getting a vasectomy, this is one way to do it. Ouch. Sayonara, my date tonight. Tommy Dreamer. Oh, a hangman by Burke. Quickly the momentum changes now. Sean re entering the ring. Big line. A close Big line. line. Sean Burke. Now here's the question. That bell's still sitting there. Do you think Burke is going to take a little bit of it? Well, it's, it's up for grabs at this it point. It certainly is. And Tommy brought it into the ring, brought it into the match. It's really up to the referee's discretion. You know, he's, well, he just walked in its vicinity, but the referee is so intent on calling the action as he should be. Some circles people have pushed for two referees. Oh, six. Extreme rules going on right now in the action building. Tommy Dreamer, Lindsey Snow against the new era's David Ali and Danny Jordan. Uh-oh, he's got that kendo stick. Oh, right across the abdomen of David Ali. Oh, man. Oh, man. I may not like the new era, but come on. you got to feel bad for this. Oh!
Tommy Dreamer is a man who knows how to use every single object he can find as a weapon, as he just showcased with the ring bell. I'm not even sure that Vandy really knows where he's at. Is he going to do it again? Oh! Holy crap! I don't think Mark Vandy has ever been this personal with a ring bell in his life. The crowd's chanting for one more time. Hey, I might not like Mark Vandy, but even that hurts me. Oh! Tommy Dreamer is trying to ensure there will be no little. How Mark Vandy had the wherewithal to get out of that move probably saved his life. Vandy now rolling to the outside, getting some offense in on Dreamer. Oh! I guess that's payback for the ring bell, right? It's not a Singapore cane, but it's a cane of another sort. I think Dreamer's getting all of the impact on that. I would watch that thoroughly, sir. Well, water bottles have not been kind to these athletes so far tonight. And Dreamer sends the, uh, the chi oh no. I'm just going to lay out, let the sound. Yep, ouch. Well, that, uh, Obviously, did not officially signify the end of this matchup, but it may have signified a lot of. Oh, Pat Buck. This is why I say, when that question is posed to you, do you want to go hardcore? You say this. No. The former two-time no. ECW World Heavyweight Champion is about. Oh my God, no. Oh, oh no. Broke the belt right on the stones of the rollway ramp. That's worse than. Oh no, man, Pat Buck is really feeling that one. Oh my God, could I guess that's owner of Promising Syndicate, Pat Buck. He's also the head trainer. You have no problems with Tommy Dreamer, but I also told him to keep his tights pulled up under any circumstance. Oh! No, oh, but Pat Buck took too long getting up to that top rope. Tommy stopped him in his tracks. Now, Tommy has got him in a precarious spot here. Could be setting him up for a superplex. This could be the beginning of the end for the... Tommy Dreamer from right here in New York. He says, hey, I've been dealing with guys like you my entire career, and this is how he deals. Dreamer promising that he would get hardcore tonight. And moves like that may just put a stop to it all. Nice drop kick of an athlete. Tons of charisma. Tons of athletic ability. Pure athletic ability. Dreamer smelling blood. He's got that chair set up. What's he got in mind? Oh, to the eyes. Robinson saved himself. No, wait. Dreamer reverses. Up and over. No! Up, but not over, that's for sure. And a DDT from Tommy Dreamer. No. Fist pump being used to mock him. Oh! <laughs> Officially been canceled. Look at the facial expression of Tommy Dreamer. He is no longer in any kind of laughing mood. Chair. God, he's hit the bell. Oh, 
my God! Well, if Chris Payne had any aspirations of having children, Chris Payne is, oh, now the broom. Believe what is happening. Wastelaw. Yeah, it looks like he's going to try for a straight jacket. Oh. 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 Well, Dreamer oh. hits him in his best part. Oh. Oh. And Dreamer taking out Adam Cole and the referee in the process into that trademark. Watch out, Tony. He's got that ring bell, too. No! Oh! No! Well, they just, for lack of a bucket, we're talking about two totally separate situations. This, this, this brother's got a hammer. This is sanctioned. By it's, who? It's no disqualification. It's not sanctioned by anybody. I didn't vote on it. Good boot to the head. Man, it has been months since I've seen Dalton. Oh my! What does he have? Is that a hockey stick? There's a few ways I can answer that question. I believe that's somebody's cane. A cane? Is this a? Is this legal? <laughs> RJ getting it from both ends. Those rumors are greatly unfounded. Is, is this a is this a hardcore match? I don't believe it's been advertised as such, but uh, uh, certain promotions have decided to create. All right to the midsection. Yeah, it's just like... the chair across JT's lower abdominal region, whips the chair with a steel chain, and now he's got that chair set up. I've seen this a time or two from Tommy Dreamer. I know it's coming up. Oh, no. JT blocks it. Core tag team today. Oh, and the hip top. Imagine Matt Tremont in ECW, say 1997-98. He would have fit right in perfectly. What the hell is JT Dunn and Jimmy Jacobs doing in the center of the ring? Uh, doing the prop toe hole in the uh, roll. Oh, boy. He's chair in the corner. No, no, no. Oh! Umbrella to the cooking sheet to the Maybe groin. Let's let leave Ethan Page to the reproducing. JT Dunn doesn't need to. What the hell? Delicious, delicious Haribo gummy bears. He ate one. Delicious and violent Haribo branded gummy bears. What's <laughs> that? Doubt about it. Hold on a second. There's that ring bell. Ding dong, not quite December in Milwaukee yet, but a little early jingle bells for Joey Mercury. Nice done, that. And he's gonna double up. That might be some internal bleeding with Mercury left on that guardrail, and I don't think he's going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah, he's checking it out. He has to lose fight though. He no, did, he's, 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 he's actually checking. He's Look, he's checking that cookie sheet. And he's not taken. Is he bleeding? Referee's got to be close up. He's got to keep an eye on both of these competitors. Sign of blood will end this match. This first blood match. Oh, Tommy. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, God. No, we don't no, need no, to no, see no. this. No, no. I, uh, we don't Look really. At it. Why? Oh! That'll ring your bell. Expectorating just a bit. That wasn't fun. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, wait a minute. He's having this fan perfect match. Let's do it. Fine. Ron Mapp is no, no stranger to violence himself. Last, last month competing in the Tangled Web matchup. Andy Filling in last second. Andy was in tournament. Andy 
So he is no Crossbody body. only got a one chin out of it. I go. Mathis coming in to go caught with that back elbow from Tommy Dreamer. Dreamer driving in, Ron Mathis, Ron Mathis, oh, up and over, oh! Well, Tommy Dreamer wasn't there at first. Yeah. Called it. Wow. That's what a moment. An analyst you see what him. a moment for Ron Mathis. And now who's the jerk? Hit him again! I, oh, oh, I think he should have taken the trash can and beat him up again. Go for it. There you go. Wow. How? Imagine what Ron, what Ron Mathis is going through. He just beat his childhood hero. He took down an extreme icon. I'm speechless. Which is very hard to do for me. That just speaks to... Well, maybe Dreamer not ready to utilize the belly yet, but... Set in the chest at the end of that hard ring frame. Oh, no, no, here we go, here we go. Solvents him up, gets him in position. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I don't... Oh! Ah! As every male in attendance just had their knees slammed shut. Well, these, these fans become an enemy of McChesney fairly quickly. They get super kicked a female wrestler to eliminate her from a battle royal. Norm Connors was very upset with the excessive violence. Called in his old extreme buddy Tommy Dreamer to teach McChesney a lesson. I think so far McChesney's learned a lot. Hey, if McChesney's capable of learning a lesson, this would teach it to him. Dreamer, digging for uh, digging for toys. Hello. Hello. Oh. I've heard of get the hook before. That's a bit of a new meaning. Pressed hard on the hamstring. Oh! The pump handle candy cane throw. And now, Dreamer as an Shades of he had an Eminem playing a saxophone because why wouldn't he? And then the tennis racket, perhaps low high if you will. Oh! Right in the mommy daddy button. My well, God. not right in it, indirectly in it. Dreamer driver, Spicoli driver, by any name, it usually signals the end. Oh, Colin downstairs. All legal. <laughs> oh, and now he has someone's cane. Oh, no. And that's a metal cane as well. Oh, and he's got him fish hooked by the mommy daddy button. Yeah, nothing makes a difference where he's going with it. Good lord. Well, it's innovation of a different sort. You may want to watch that. Well, Jack Pollock uh, may wish he's on the... Uh, I can't even follow what's going on. They're coming back ringside, I know that much. And it looks like Dreamers come out the better of it. Oh, no. Tommy Dreamers got a chair done. They don't call him the innovator of violence for no oh, reason. No. Oh no. Oh my god! Low blow with a steel mallet through the chair. Tracy eats one too. Devlin's out. Oh, Devlin's Devlin out of mission. Plans after this. Tracy could be about to get the well, same treatment. The again. Oh, oh my god! Hammering the huge brain buster from Jordan Devlin. This should be it. Dreamers there to break it up. Oh, hang on a second. Scoops him up. 
Sweeter driver! This is insane. Once again, what's going on?